Number 11. Wasp vs. Tarantula The world of insects and arachnids is one many people don't want to talk about because of how the creepy crawlies terrify them so much. Arachnophobia is a pretty common fear, and I'll admit I'm not too keen on the little guys myself. But the sad fact is these two worlds of spiders and insects is expansive and interesting and have all sorts of species that collide with each other, for better or for worse. Check out this fight between a wasp and a tarantula. Now to be clear, this battle isn't as one-sided as you think. Yes, tarantulas are bigger, but wasps are literally made to be spider killers. And so, for a 9-year-old kid from Arizona that so happily recorded the fight, it was anything but a wash, at first. Because while the tarantula did try to get the first move, it was the opening gambit of the wasp that turned out to be the deciding factor. These wasps are called spider killers for a reason. They have a sting that is able to literally paralyze its prey. Which you can see in this footage as the tarantula was up on all of its legs about to strike when the wasp managed to get its venom into its eight-legged foe and literally put the tarantula into a freeze frame. What happened next is honestly a bit gruesome, but let's just say the wasp found an item to lay its eggs in. You can figure out the rest, right? Number 10. Snake vs. Porcupine Here's one that you probably wouldn't expect, but does happen fairly regularly depending on the species. Because when it comes to snakes, they're known to handle prey in one of two ways. The first is biting their victim and poisoning them, and the second is through constriction. Especially for creatures like boa constrictors, it's literally in their name. The constrictors use their massive frames to squeeze the life out of prey so they can eat them without any issues. But in the case of this boa constrictor, it didn't go the way it wanted to. We say that because while its true snakes do eat porcupines, they tend to eat them all at once. But this boa tried to try out its constriction method and got nothing but spines in return. First of all, ouch! Second of all, you'd think the snake would have realized this was going to be a bad idea, but nope, it still went through with it. The poor porcupine was just trying to defend itself. If you're curious, when snakes do eat porcupines properly, they actually allow the spines to be swallowed inside of them. It doesn't bother them, especially after digestion. But in this case, yeah, it bothered this snake quite a bit. Live and learn, Mr. Boa. You have to live and learn to survive in this world. Number 9. Rhino vs. Hippo In Africa, there are all kinds of creatures you should be mindful and fearful of. Your mind might immediately think of things like lions and cheetahs, but there are some that aren't as obvious. Thanks to media portrayals, some animals fly under the radar in terms of danger, just like the rhino in Hippo. Movies like Madagascar depict cartoon, friendly animals, but in reality, they really aren't so sweet. For example, in South Africa, at a game reserve, footage was caught of a rhino and a hippo going at it in fierce combat with each other. Or at least, the kind of fierce combat you can expect from two bulky animals. You see, near an airstrip at the game reserve, a slightly smaller than average hippo wandered up to a group of rhinos, which are known as a crash, believe it or not, and started to, let's just say, impose itself upon them, to put it nicely. The rhinos, of course, weren't a fan of this, and thus began the scuffle. The hippo tried to be intimidating with its powerful mouth, but the rhinos weren't afraid and used their horns and size to chase it away. The ranger on the scene who filmed the interaction noted that these two creatures having an altercation was pretty unheard of, and yet it happened, and now it's on the internet for all to see. Now, before you think the hippo was a fool for fighting the rhinos, hippos are mighty creatures. They can run fast, bite a person in half if they want to, and knock over boats with ease. In a one versus one fight, the results might have been different, but attacking a group of these basically living tanks, not so much. The hippo probably should have thought twice on that one. What would you do if you saw a rhino and a hippo going at it? Let us know in the comments below. And make sure you subscribe for more great content. Number 8. Primate vs. Primate As you all likely know, primates are the closest animals in the world to humans as far as DNA goes. A very interesting fact, wouldn't you say? And not unlike humans, they have fights within their own families. But what many fail to realize is that these fights can get downright vicious and brutal, a lot worse than anything you'd see at Thanksgiving. At one zoo when a family of gorillas decided to get into a spat with each other, onlookers watched in shock. So where's the mismatch? Simple, much of the family decided to attack the biggest gorilla of the bunch at once, which in this case was incredibly stupid because this alpha gorilla towered over the rest of them and as a result had much more mass to put power into. 
The captured clips showed the alpha gorilla going ape and dragging away one of the smaller gorillas and chasing others all around the pen. Apparently, a baby gorilla was even hurt as a result of the fight. This kind of behavior isn't what we expect usually because gorillas are known to be quite gentle, but in this case, they were anything but. Number 7. Chimps vs. Raccoon Okay, this is a matchup that we're pretty sure no one could have seen coming. And trust us when we say that this is the most brutal fight on the list by far. You see, at a chimpanzee enclosure, a group of chimps were rummaging around their pen when all of a sudden they saw something out of the ordinary. Hidden within the greenery of the pen was a raccoon. Apparently, chimps hate raccoons almost as much as humans. So what did they do? They straight up mobbed it and started beating the crap out of it. We're not exaggerating this. Look at how vicious the chimps are. At one point, they even started throwing the raccoon into the air to send it flying across the pen. Surely it escaped after that, right? Wrong. Because as the raccoon went to retreat into a nearby pipe, which is likely how it got into the pen in the first place, the chimps grabbed it by the tail, pulled it out, and started punching it all over again. Thankfully, the raccoon did eventually get a chance to escape, but the brutality of these chimps was something frightening. And a good reminder that while it might seem like a neat idea to have a monkey as a pet, this could be the result if you happen to tick them off. Number 6. Hippo vs. Elephant As we've already shown you, hippos can be quite aggressive when they want to be. The problem, though, is that just like before, a hippo picked the wrong opponent to go up against. In this case, an African elephant, which just so happens to be one of the biggest animals in the world. Oops. I mean, hippos really need to learn some common sense. So what happened here? Well, unlike the last incident, you could at least see where the hippo was coming from in its attack. As one photographer witnessed, a group of hippos were bunched together in an African river as an elephant decided to wade across it. Not an antagonizing move, right? Well, it wouldn't have been, except for the fact that the elephant crossed by straight up walking through the pack of hippos, causing them to disperse unless they wanted to get trampled. One hippo didn't like that one bit and decided to face off with the elephant. The problem was that the elephant didn't care because it was so much bigger than the hippo. The hippo was relentless until a bunch of other elephants showed up. Soon, the hippo finally realized that it was beat. This is a literal case of needing to pick on something your own size. Number 5. Zebra vs. Wildebeest When it comes to zebras and wildebeest, many people think they're solely prey just for bigger animals like lions and cheetahs, but they are truly so much more than that. These two species are able to understand the very nature of the world they live in and honestly have a type of symbiotic bond that allows them to survive. How so? Well, they often find themselves in the same areas of the savanna, but eat different kinds of grass. Because of this, they can live in harmony in areas with plenty of food without infringing on each other's survival. The problem in this case happened at a watering hole. A young wildebeest had apparently gotten separated from its pack and felt it would be best to attach itself to the nearby zebras, which, believe it or not, is something that happens often. But then, when it started to cry out for its mother, a trio of zebras came up and attacked it harshly, in a way that you wouldn't really expect from zebras. It's believed that the zebras heard the cry from the youngling and believed it would mark them as a target and put them in danger from bigger wildebeests. So they did what they thought was best for their pack. Can you really blame them? Number 4. Jaguar vs. Cayman This next tale is about a jaguar from Brazil called Scarface. Yes, that was its name. It was given to it by a photographer that followed it and chronicled its movements. Jaguars are known to be apex predators on land in Brazil. They're natural hunters capable of incredible speed and instincts that allow it to catch prey without much issue. But in this case, Scarface did something that the photographer didn't expect. It lunged off the land into a nearby river and attacked a caiman. If you aren't familiar, caimans are one of the most dangerous crocodile species in the world. So going after one is, let's just say, bold. But that right there is the twist. You'd think that in the water, the caiman would have the advantage, but because of the way Scarface attacked it and how it got its jaws around its opponent's neck, it was not able just to win, but win flawlessly. It dragged that caiman out of the water and went on its merry way as if it was just any other piece of meat. So just like his namesake, this cat was a boss and king of the wild. Number 3. Gorilla vs. Photographer? It's honestly a little bit surprising it took us this long to get to a story of a human screwing up near animals, because as we all hopefully know, humans are animals themselves. 
And humans can be quite stupid with how they handle themselves around other creatures, such as when one photographer in Rwanda was observing a pack of silverback gorillas and decided to get as close as possible to them, not thinking about how the gorillas might not like that. Sure enough, the alpha male of the gorilla group took offense to the photographer's action and charged at him with a clenched fist. Thankfully, the photographer was able to escape and get good footage of the gorillas beforehand, but not without having a really close call. Number 2. Tiger vs Crocodile So, we've already seen a jaguar going up against a crocodile and winning, but what about one of the other big cats? Let's say a tiger. This happened in India at a tiger reserve, and it did indeed feature a tiger going up against a croc, something that happens more often than you'd realize. The victor is usually determined by who can get the drop on who first, not unlike the jaguar with its attack earlier. In this case though, it wasn't just a tiger going after prey, it was a case of a mama tiger going after the crocodile in order to protect its cubs. And to be clear, this wasn't a small crocodile like the jaguar had in proportion to its body. Instead, this was a 14-foot-long crocodile that the tiger was seen ripping apart and killing, all to save its cubs. When the picture and footage of this was released to the world, the tiger became instantly famous, and I'm not surprised. You go, Mama Tiger! Number 1. Lions vs Rhinos vs Elephants In Kenya, a matchup between some of the big five occurred, and it was incredible! You see, lions may be the alphas of the savannah in many instances, but they tend to do things their way. In this case, they prefer to be stealthy and blindside opponents in order to get the advantage before they have the chance to counter an attack. And this is what they tried to do in Kenya, but they found themselves stalking a group of black rhinos. The problem for the lions, though, was the rhinos caught wind of them and charged at them, forcing them to scatter. But wait, there's more! Because after the lion dispersal, a third opponent arrived with a group of elephants. They helped get rid of the lions before focusing on the rhinos. A tense stare-down occurred. But then the elephants went away, maybe just backing down for now. While a full-blown scuffle didn't go down, it surely could have, and that would have been something truly epic to behold. Thanks for watching! What did you think of this look at animals who bit off a bit more than they could chew and learned their lesson the hard way? Can you believe these animal fights happened? Which ones do you think would have been interesting to watch live? Let us know in the comments below. Be sure to subscribe and we'll see you next time on the channel.